Hello and welcome to the Teaching Online Open Course. I'm Liz Lovegrove, one of the three tutors in the course. I've been teaching online for four or five years, living online for very much longer, and I've done a lot of work developing and supporting various different online courses. This course itself is an open variation of a course we've been running for about ten years in the Oxford Centre for Staff and Learning Development. At various times it's been called online tutoring and teaching online, and this variation is slightly different because it's open. One of the things about this being an open course is that you have some choices about how to engage with it. We're offering various different activities, discussions and readings each week, and depending on what your preferences and interests are, you may wish to engage with some or all of these things, or to dip in and out as it suits you. If you're taking the course for assessment, you might find you need to engage more deeply with all of the different activities. If you're taking it for interest, you may wish to dip into the week that interests you, take away some readings, post a couple of times in the discussion boards or indeed anything between those two extremes. Another aspect of openness is that everything in the course is public and can be found by everyone on the web, so do remember that when you're posting. All of the course materials are freely available under a Creative Commons licence, which means that you or anyone else are allowed to reuse them for non-commercial purposes as long as you credit us as the authors. No matter what you're doing in the course, we urge you to think about contributing to the discussion boards, because that's where a lot of the learning will take place people sharing their experiences and thoughts on the different approaches we're discussing each week. You'll find you'll learn a lot from each other as well as hopefully from us. We're releasing all of our course content one week in advance. If you've taken other online courses, particularly our sister course, First Steps in Learning and Teaching, this might be different from what you're used to, where some other courses release everything all at once. We're partly doing this to demonstrate a different way of approaching the release of materials, and, as with all the decisions we've made throughout the course, we encourage you to think about the effect of that and whether or not it would work in your context. I look forward to seeing you in the discussion boards.